found tips that you should give today's teens. Let's see if you agree with these tips. Okay. Number 11, enjoy your teen years. They don't last forever. Hard to say that to teens during COVID while they're stuck inside with their parents, but I guess in general, yes. Don't expect your parents to buy you a really expensive car. Yes. Yeah, that's dumb. Anyone, I, I had a used car. Actually, my car had like four different doors on it mm. because it had been through our family. <laughs> And everybody had a story like my cousin. She's like, oh, yeah, I lost the door that this. And my other cousin was like, oh, yeah, we lost that door because of this. So everybody had a had a story. It was one of these like generations. Instead of handing out a sweater, they handed down a car. As soon as you can get a part time job. So you don't yes. have to ask your parents for money all the time. You can start making your own money and you're going to work the rest of your life. So just get used to it. I lied about my age to get a job at the food town to be a supermarket checker girl to make money. Mm -hmm. Number eight, yes, spend time with your grandparents. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. You're going to regret it because grandparents are, you, you look at them and you're like, yeah, they're kind of old. No, they're old. They're not going to be around very long. Yeah, they're like a black and white TV. One time, they're, they're going to go out. So get all the information you can out of them about your past, your your family and everything while you can. Oh, yeah. My grandparents used to dish on my parents. I got mm -hmm. a lot of dirt. Number seven, oh, I wish I could go back. Always maintain good grades. Yeah, you know, I don't know about that one because some kids have to work really, really, really hard to get good grades. They're just not good. It's not everybody's good at school. You know, there's a reason why there's trade schools and, and, and not everybody is meant to be, you know, a lawyer or a PhD. Not everyone's good in school. And if if you're going to be one of those kids that needs to study constantly and get tutors just to get good grades, then you're not going to be able to have the fun that you should have as a teenager. Yeah, but... I put in, believe it or not, I didn't put in any effort at all. Zero effort. You're kidding. You? No, I, I put in no effort at all in school. I wish I would have put in, if I would have put in 5% effort, I probably would have done better. But who cares? You, you'd end up where you are right now. Would anything be I'd different? I'd still be, end up talking to you. So, right. So yeah. there you go. What's the difference? Why work hard? Don't get addicted to spending money. Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, oh yeah, that that that's hard because you start a you start like competing with other people for like sneakers and cars and clothes and you know whatever whatever people have you know phones technology like you just it's hard when you go to a friend's house. I had a really rich friend. I'd go there and she had a lot of stuff and I didn't realize that her parents made more money than my parents. Mm -hmm. I'd go home and be like, you know, why do they have a computer at their house and I only have one at school? Yeah, so don't get addicted to that. Uh, number five, you should learn now. I wish you would learn now. Don't be over dramatic. Oh, please. <laughs> you can't tell a kid that. I'm sorry. Drama, I'm saying things that you should tell kids and I, things people should tell you. Don't be over dramatic. I know it's hard for you. It's almost impossible. So take it that way okay number uh, uh, no no i say be dramatic you'll have a much more interesting life and an interesting personality uh, number four dress the way you want to dress yes that's a good one number three don't post a lot on social media yeah you'll regret that big time someone's gonna google that at some point like you sneaking a beer someone's gonna google that when you go for a job interview yeah and say look you were smoking pot in this photo i don't even know how you found that. Uh, number two, you probably shouldn't send any nudes of yourself to anybody, even Do a boyfriend not. or yes. girlfriend you trust 100%. That's great advice. And if you do, if you must send a nude, make sure your face is not in it. Number one, try to bring your boyfriend or girlfriend in the house with your parents as little as possible. <laughs> your parents will embarrass you, find out your secrets, and make your boyfriend, girlfriend be scared of them. Agreed. No, not my parents. My parents were cool. My parents were like, I know you guys aren't supposed to drink, but we're having wine tonight. Would you yeah, like some? <laughs> you had the one in a million parents because my parents were horrible when it came to bringing girlfriends over. My mother, when I had my first boyfriend, she didn't even ask if I was having sex with him or not. And I wasn't because we were young. We were like kids. <laughs> she came home one day and she handed me a bag. I'm like, what's this? She's, uh, she's like, give it to Michael. I was like, oh, you bought him a gift? I opened it up. It was condoms. <laughs> oh, 